Master Shum, thank you very much for bringing your students. I, you. As I said, I enjoyed it very much. Um, this is the master, and hopefully he will do a small demonstration for us a little later. I had a few questions which I wrote down before the show, and I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about your own personal Kung Fu training. Yeah, I uh, practice uh, Kung Fu right, in Hong Kong uh, when I was eight years old from uh, the master uh, that's my godfather. So that's what happened. I get very early to train. Okay, so you know, I train in the you know the eagle claw system and also the Wu style Tai Chi in the same time. So I practice up to now. You know, look like about uh, more than uh, thirty. You know, f more than thirty means like from eight years old up to now. You know, <laughs> long time already. <laughs> long time. Yeah. Um, I, you've mentioned, I have also mentioned Wu style Tai Chi. Now, very few people in the audience mm -hmm. know anything really about Wu style Tai Chi. Yeah. If you could maybe give us a little brief introduction of what is Wu style and... Yeah, Tai Chi Chuan the systems get a, a lot of system, you know. So right now in Hong Kong, uh, Taiwan, the Wu style Tai Chi is uh, very popular. So Wu style and Yang style. Yang styles are also very different. Yang style, bef uh, you know, before long times ago, have uh, one of the uh, the master called Professor Chen. I think a lot of people can uh, can know about that. But Wu style, you know, right now in American, look like not really popular, you know, because uh, I uh, practice tai, uh, Wu style Tai Chi in Hong Kong. That's a long, long time ago, right? So. Uh, in Hong Kong, everybody, nearly in the park or in school teaching, also uh, usually the people like the Wu style. The Wu style and Yang style, the reasoning, the same thing, but only the form is different. So Wu style, everything's big, like big circle, big hand, big stand, you know, like that. The Yang style is a little bit smaller, like small stand, small circle. So difference like that, but, and also Yang style, a little bit harder, but Wu style completely very soft. When he's soft, but when you practice the form inside, also a lot of internal power. So train the internal power is very suitable for young people. So I teaching the people uh, young, different way to, to do teach. The old people also different way to teach. Well, that's that's good. I think a personal approach to teaching is very important, yeah. and it seems like you have a, a good approach with your students. Um, I, we're not going to have time for too many questions yeah. because I want to see your demonstration. But yeah. a few more. What do you stress in in your school besides the personal involvement between teacher and student? So, uh, teaching the you know the student is like I think a lot of people should be too rush to go, you know, too rush to go to learn, ah, I want to learn that, I want to learn that, too fast, so never get it good. So sometimes I teaching the student, I explain to him, you know, so make it slowly, one by one, to make clear this thing first, and make how to use, practice good, and then the other thing to go. Usually I like the people doing like that. Okay, and the one last question is that Peter Armstrong before mentioned there are 108 ways to grasp, seize, and topple an opponent. Mm -hmm. Now, in some of the literature that you gave me, I read there are also 108 moves in the Wu style Tai Chi Chuan. And I was wondering why those two are related in the same number. Why is it 108? Yeah. That's a uh, long time ago, right? The, in China, it's called Shaolin Temple. It's very famous. So, in the temple, have a a hundred and eight Buddha, this is called Golden Buddha. So inside the temple, the people make the Kung Fu, right? So also see the action of the Buddha, right? And then I make it. So Eagle Claw, hundred and eight technique. So also learn from there. So make out from the, you know, a hundred and eight Buddha. But Tai Chi Wei, also the same thing. So he also, now Tai Chi, or uh, Eagle Claw, or the other system, also using the Golden Buddha for, to make about you know, the system. Thank you very much. Yeah. Now, I want to move these things, and I want to see some of your, if you will grace us with 
some action. Okay. Okay. Only a, a few people are still practicing this weapon today. Of all weapons, this is probably the rarest. Although not generally thought of as a weapon, it is. It's easy to carry. It's legal. But used with real Kung Fu power, it can ward off even a strong weapon. <laughs> 